Hello, I'm Dr. Che and you're watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about health. This is video number two and this video is a part in general for any English learner, in particular for IELTS and TOEFL students. As you know, I have gathered more, I have gathered more than 27 common topics for IELTS and TOEFL and, in, and for a an general English use. So we are at this topic, health. Open the playlist of my channel and watch complete course in order. Link is given below in the description box. So first word is recover. Recover is a verb. It means to be completely normal health. To have completely normal health after an illness or injury. Synonym can be to get better, to get well, to recuperate. All of these are synonyms. Recover means after illness, to become normal after illness. He is fully recovered from the coronavirus disease, from the COVID-19. His knee's range of movement has fully recovered after six weeks of the accident. His knee's range of movement has fully recovered, has returned, has get well after six weeks of the accident. Appointment. Appointment is a noun. It means a formal arrangement to visit someone's, for example, a doctor to consult your health issues appointment okay a formal arrangement to visit a doctor for example in this context collocations we can use to book an appointment to make an appointment to keep an appointment so example sentence the patient don't need to make an advance appointment with dr che as he is available anytime okay he is not a good doctor nobody comes here to to have a, to, to consult me so i am available 24 hours okay okay diana had to cancel her dental appointment diana had to cancel her dental appointment okay so please subscribe to my channel uh, look at the description box for updates and a link to my facebook group subscribe like comment and share to encourage me please share with uh, your colleagues and students and other uh, the class fellows to help uh, the, to help them and subscribe to get more videos on all of these and press the bell icon bu button please it will not cost you anything insurance insurance is a noun it means an agreement insurance is a noun it means an agreement with the company that pays your costs of treatment if you are for example there is major surgery for example c-section c-section when a woman give birth to a child this operation is called c-section there is c-section or operation of appendix appendicitis uh, or for example there is an accident and the, this company covers your cost called insurance we can say health health insurance you can say life insurance all heavy industries should take out insurance against their employees injuries they should take out insurance against their employees injuries a routine checkup for a flu is not covered by the health insurance a routine checkup for flu is not covered by the health insurance vaccine vaccine or vaccination is a noun and its verb form is vaccinate you need to learn the language and you need to learn all forms of language for example noun adjective adverb so that you can vary your language when you are writing or you when you are speaking a substance that is put into the blood and that protects the body from disease is called vaccine unfortunately till now no vaccine has been completely successful against covid 19 against coronavirus Still, two days, 25, 25 of uh, April 2020, 2020, but uh, still there is no vaccine completely successful. There are trials, but no successful. In many countries, children receive the vaccination before beginning elementary school. Verb is vaccinate. My son was vaccinated for measles yesterday. He was vaccinated for measles yesterday now it is used as a verb oh very good you know immunization immunization it is with s uh, british spelling 
if you are american if you use american language use said here instead of as immunization is a noun it means act of protecting someone against a disease by giving a vaccine immunization protects thousands of children against dangerous infectious diseases okay and the verb is immunize mean vaccinate protect safeguard all parents should have their children immunized they should have their children immunized this here it is used as a verb symptom symptom is a noun it means it is a feeling of an illness like pain vomiting that a patient comes with for example uh, when we are in our uh, office and a, a patient comes then we need to ask about his symptoms and he tells about his symptoms vomiting diarrhea headache these are symptoms uh, symptoms also uh, synonyms are sign mark or indication collocations we can use to show symptoms of illness to develop symptoms of illness you can say he he has developed symptoms of covid 19 to relieve symptoms to alleviate symptom these are good collocations example sentences if if your symptoms of if you have symptoms of high fever and cough uh, if you are symptoms of high fever and cough persist you should immediately consult your doctor because you might be suffering from covid-19 disease panadol would alleviate your symptoms of fever and headache prevent prevent is a verb and prevention is a noun prevent is a verb and prevention is a noun it means to stop something happening to stop something from happening adjective is preventable verb is prevent prevention is noun and adjective is preventable you need to vary your language this is called range of vocabulary okay it will boost your score to stop something happening children should be vaccinated against preventable preventable diseases those diseases that can be prevented that can be stopped by use of vaccine for example idiom idiom is prevention is better than cure uh, a preven prevention is better than cure so eat healthy diet and do regular exercise eat healthy diet and do regular exercise obese obese is an adjective obese is an adjective it means related to someone whose weight is higher than normal a someone whose weight is higher than normal and its weight is 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 a risk for his health obese people have high risk of suffering from diabetes than lean people they have high risk okay and uh, our next word is obesity obese is adjective obese is adjective and obesity is noun look at the pronunciation is obesity not obesity is obesity with with uh, spelling is with e but we pronounce obesity is a noun it means to have a, an extremely high weight that is dangerous for someone's health so it is called obesity or to have extra weight high weight that is dangerous for health many developed countries are struggling to tackle the problem of childhood obesity many developed countries are struggling to tackle the problem of childhood obesity a diet rich in fast food can lead to obesity if you eat a diet that is rich in fast food it can lead to obesity and next word is impaired impaired can be used as an adjective or it can be used as a verb impaired adjective or verb form when something is damaged or are not functioning properly when something is damaged and it is not functioning properly it called impaired collocations we can use impaired vision impaired memory impaired movement we can also say impaired hearing these are collocations diana suffers from impaired hearing and needs hearing aids to listen she suffers from impaired hearing she is hearing her hearing is not good so she uh, she needs 
hearing aids these uh, apparatus that they put in their ears to listen his range of knee uh, his re range of knee joint movement has imp was impaired by the accident it means that was decreased that was affected by the accident so if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like share comment and follow the link in the description for my facebook group and join it for more updates thank you very much press the bell icon please also thank you thank you